Hello friends, this time we are going to test an advanced graphics card based on NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti with a quite an efficient refine cooling system. We have already reviewed a series of graphics card Gigabyte K1 Gaming based on NVIDIA Maxwell Micro architecture in terms of model Gigabyte GeForce GTX 980 J1 Gaming which impressed us by its high-grade cooling system and high efficiency. This time our lab got a model based on GTX 980 Ti which implements the top-end graphics core NVIDIA GM2310 and features an advanced branded engineering such as enhanced power supply system, cooling system idle operation, original LED backlight and significant factory overclocking. The card is supplied in a large black carton with color printings. There is an inscription Gigabyte Super Overclock on the front panel, which means that the installed GPU meets the appropriate quality standards and has an excellent overclocking potential. Gigabyte GPU con lead screening procedure. We should give a prominence to such an advantage of the new model as Gigabyte Flex Display Technology Support, which provides automatic multi-monitor configuration adjustment for up to four display units. Gigabyte Dual BIOS technology ensures value card recovery in case of bad firmware or failure. The tested model is securely encased in foam shapes and anti-static package. The supply set includes power adapter, CD with software and drivers, brief manual. The video card is assembled on a fairly overall PCB. Its central part includes the graphics processor with a protective frame. Such design provides chipping or damage protection of the crystal while removing or installing the coolant system. The GPU power supply system is implemented on 8-phase pattern. Such layout ensures sound overclocking facilities and advanced operational reliability under high loads as compared to the standard 6-phase pattern. In addition, they have also implemented here reliable tantalum polymer capacitors and ferrite chokes. Another two phases ensure power supply of the video memory subsystem. There are two 8-pin PCIe connectors for extra power supply. Such configuration provides a large margin of safety and allows implementing various overclocking trials. The PCB reverse side includes a number of power subsystem elements with a metal reinforcement plate for their protection, and it is also designed for heat supply's removal and dissipation. The new card is based on graphics chip NVIDIA GM2310, which is produced according to 28nm workmanship. It includes 2816 CUDA cores, 176 texture units and 96 rasterization units. The graphics core has a factor of a clock in which operates at 1152 MHz in nominal mode and at 1241 MHz in dynamic mode. In addition, the branded Guru 2OC software includes an additional profile with frequencies of 1190 and 1279 MHz respectively. The card is equipped with 6 GB of DDR5 memory, which is assembled by means of 12 SK Hanex chips with effective frequency of 7010 MHz. The data exchange with the GPU is implemented through a 384 bit bus. The interface panel provides an expanded set of connectors for image displaying. The graphics adapter is equipped with the efficient brand cooling system WinForce 3X 600W. It reserves two slots for expansion cards and the total length of the video card including the installed cooling system makes 313 mm, as measured in our lab. The fans are mounted on a special frame which features an original design with combination of black and white colors. Three Everflow fans ensure active cooling, they are 77 mm in diameter and the blades are of specific shape that promotes effective airflow. A large copper plate has a direct contact with the GPU through a thin layer of thermal paste. Design of the two-section radiator includes transverse aluminum ribs and six copper heat pipes. Also, the radiator contacts memory chips and elements of the power supply subsystem that provide stable operation of the video card under load. The heat pipes are securely soldered both to the copper base and to the radiator ribs, and we would rather say that a lack of nickel-plated heat pipes for oxidation protection makes this sound picture incomplete. 
The graphics chip heated up to 75 degrees in automatic mode of the fan speed and under maximum load. Such level is quite standard for a top model, which also has a significant factory overclocking. At the same time, the fans rotated at 68% of their maximum speed that made 2867 rounds per minute. In this mode, the noise was average and comfortable for continuous computer operation. An interesting point is that the maximum core frequency made 1291 MHz at full load, which exceeds the claimed level by 50 MHz. Further, in idle mode, the core and memory frequencies decreased, and the temperature dropped to 47 degrees. In this state, the video card operation was absolutely silent, due to the zero decibel semi-passive technology, which is useful for daily performance operation. The backlight indicator wind force on the lateral side of the graphics card lights up under load and flashes in different colors during the operation. Solid and stop lateral backlights are switched on when the cooler is in passive mode. With relation to features and positioning of the compared models, we can definitely state that Kikapai GeForce TTX 980 Ti Gay 1 Gaming is going to be a leading model in terms of efficiency. However, the analysis reveals its average advanced features and gives some reasons to consider the overpayment for the additional computing power. Comparison with the graphics card based on JTX 970 showed that the hero of this review was faster by 33% on average. Such result was promoted due to more CUDA cores, texture units, rasterization units and memory capacity. Comparison with non-reference model based on JTX 980 resulted in an average margin of 24% in favor of the review hero. Comparison with the products from AMD resulted in an average margin of 28% over Radeon R9 390X and of 24% over Radeon R9 Nano. In general, the tested video card complies fully with its top-grade position. The efficient GPU performance and significant factory overclocking provide a perfect solution for modern gaming with 1440 pixels resolution and even 4K Ultra HD. Overclocking was performed by means of MCI Afterburner 4.1.1 utility. During the process, the core voltage was automatically increased by 1180 mV when raising the GPU frequency and power target parameter. The rated frequency was increased from 1152 to 1294 MHz, 12.3% increase or almost 30% when uh, compared with the rated value. Also, the video memory frequency was increased by 274 MHz, which resulted in excellent gain of 15.5%. During acceleration, the fan speed was fixed at 100%, while the GPU temperature didn't exceed 69 degrees. As a result, the actual efficiency gain was slightly more than 10%. Such growth of the processing speed will be certainly detectable in games due to the significant FPS increase. With regard to the review results, we can definitely say that we have tested one of the most productive and reliable single-chip graphics cards. Model Gigabyte GeForce TTX 980 Ti G1 Gaming features high factory overclocking of the GPU and mostly due to the GPU gauntlet technology. It ensures pre-testing and selection of the most stable models of graphics processors with excellent overclocking potential. The enhanced 10-phase power supply subsystem implements advanced component base, which complies with the branded concept Ultra Durable VGA. And 3-fan cooler Gigabyte Windforce 3X600W ensures cooling of internal components. It shows a sound performance with relation to the level of heating of the top-grade GPU and is also equipped with the innovative LED backlight system and supports passive mode. We should also specify the significant length of the card, which may not be compatible with some middle tarot cases. As a result, this video card can become a basis for a gaming computer with maximum speed rates. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.